Hey guys, and welcome back to Tales of Zisteria, where the lives we take games. On the last episode, we made our way through the Lamarack Cave and finally made it back to Highland. Oh, but only after restoring the blessing in Pendrago, of course, because, you know, that happened. <laughs> but yeah, here we are back in the Boar's Ruins, a place filled with memories, I'm sure. And we're just going to head out of here and head towards... Um... Lake Haven Heights, where supposedly we will find the next of our spiritual powers, which is always fun. Um, while we're here though, there are a few rocks that we now have the power to get rid of, which is great. Uh, can't grab that chest unfortunately, but we're just going to head out of the Boris Ruins now. Um, it's nice to be here, but like, I want to get on with stuff, I think. Because um, there are quite a few side quests that we have to do in Lake Human Heights, including returning back to Alicia, because we've not done that in a long time, and I'm sure Gramps has a lot of questions for Saray. Hello! Um. Sperry. I forgot to get this one on my way through here the first time. Which is probably for the best, because it is a wind one. Just chucking it on anything at this point, to be honest. Okay. And now I can run this way. I'll grab the rock that's up here. This aroma. There's not an item that I've not got there at least, so I can just... Well, I mean, unless the treasure chests have respawned, but eh. They probably have as well. I don't care. I don't need those items. Let's just head out of here. Back to Falcon Hillside. You used to live on this mountain, Edna? Yeah. It's a nest for man-eating monsters nowadays, though. You didn't have to say that much. It's just a fact. Even he doesn't recognize me anymore. Well, that's... fun. What a great way to start the episode with some depressing reminders about Edna's sad stuff. Um, yeah, there's nothing else here that we've not said, so let's just start heading apparently towards the objective marker. Oh hey look, it's Marland. God, we've not been there in a while. Not that we need to go there. Ooh, a herb. Please give me the herb. There must be herbs around here. I really need to take him off of that. But I need to keep him on it at the same time. Oh, it's so annoying! Uh, oh look, another herb. Bet Mickley will point this one out for us too. Saray. Look carefully at the ground. Thanks, Mickleo. You're really five seconds too late, but that's fine. Okay. Oh look, someone's on the bridge. I wonder who it could be. Oh look, it's Alicia. The bridge looks better than ever, but that just means... Alicia! Saray, what are you doing here? And the others? Of course. Shame you can't see us, though. Isn't that natural? Hey! Rose, wasn't it? You were with the Sparrow Feathers who came to the palace. <laughs> nice to finally meet you in person, Princess Alicia. Just Alicia will do. Rose is helping me out big time. As Squire? Don't worry, she's doing a great job. I see. I'm sure it helps that you've grown into your power. But still, Rose must be incredibly special. That's the nicest thing I've ever heard! <laughs> well, you and Saray are so alike. That's not the nicest thing I've ever heard. Very true. My apologies. Hey! What are you apologizing for? <laughs> Saray, I'm glad you three are getting along. But we came here on a mission. Oh, right. There's something I want to ask you, Alicia. Hmm? Shrines of Trials. Ring a bell? I'm not sure if it's what you're looking for, but just the other day we received word of a ruin discovered at Lake Haven Heights. It's a military secret, so I don't know the exact location, but the entrance is supposedly extremely well hidden. Lady Maltran has just gone off to investigate. Maltran? 
The discovery came about while apprehending a group of thieves. They turned out to have several famous swords in their possession. The military decided that further investigation might turn up something useful to them. Something useful for the war? Yes. Lady Alicia! The captain is awaiting your report! Apologies, I'll be right there. Sorry, but I've got a job to do. Please come back to Lady Lake again sometime. I shall pray that you overcome your trials safely. Thanks. See you again. Oh, well, wasn't that nice? We got to see Alicia and see that she's doing okay. Although it looks like we have another objective marker just coming up. Ooh. But yeah, let's see what Rose has to say. That's right, you and Alicia know each other. The Sparrow Feathers commonly serve the Highland Royal Family. I also met her during that Scattered Bones thing, if you recall. Don't think I'll mention that part, though. Yeah, that might not go down very well. You think Alicia's doing okay? Well, if you're that concerned, why not find her and see for yourself? We're not in any big hurry. Yeah, that's probably a good idea. And then also, I hope Alicia isn't still suspected of treason. I'm guessing it's fine. They promised to lay off her if you helped them with the war, and you... Well, they can't say you didn't help. But hey, if you're that worried, why don't we drop in on Alicia's Manor and find out? Yeah, we'll add that to the list of to-dos as well, I guess. Um, yeah, that looks like everything, so let's just head on over. Oh, it's Alicia again. Okay, guess we're not getting rid of her this time. Let me talk to her, thank you. Understood. I shall report as such to my superiors. It's just as you can see. They sent me out to inspect the bridge. Jerks. Hey. It's okay. Lady Maltran is helping me out a great deal, and I can still keep going. You sure about all this? Rose? I'm sorry. I shouldn't have said that. No, no. You're probably right. No matter how I protest, I don't think the war can be stopped. I want to just drop everything and run, all the time. <sighs> but whenever my thoughts drift in that direction, I stop. The strength of a knight exists to protect, and their kindness serves the people. Those are the words I learned from my teacher. Guess you have your honor too, Alicia. Oh, not really. I'm just obstinate. So, you're just like Miklio, then? Is that supposed to be a compliment? <laughs> <laughs> sure, laugh at my expense. Alright. And with that, I must be off. Be well, everyone. You too! Later! Bye, Alicia. There she goes. She's off again. I think she's actually gone this time as well. Um, is there anything else? Oh, there is. It looks like Alicia's under a lot of stress. If you want my opinion, a lot of what she's doing to herself was avoidable. Ooh. I mean, I guess. Ooh. Anyway, we should have a skit over here at the save point if I can get it without this marmot. Uh, I should probably just fight it. Uh. Looks like we win! Of course we win, it's a marmot from, like, the start of the game. Anyway, let's get here at the safe fight, Alicia's departure. Something tells me Alicia actually wishes she could go with us, deep down. Huh? Just a vibe I got. Hey, Alicia used to be your squire, right? Why did she leave? Well, I wouldn't say she left. She just had her own goals, and... I think she did want to go with us, but her resonance just wasn't quite up to snuff. The backlash was damaging Saray. He was losing his sight. Oh dear. So that's why... Wait a minute, what about now? You're not hiding anything from me, are you? Not at all! I swear! Your resonance is powerful enough to enact armatization. It's right on par with the Shepherds. Is it really? I guess I'd better be grateful for my resonance. Grateful, huh? I love Rose. I love her so much. You are such a good. She's so considerate. Him. Of like, 
Hey, if I'm hurting you, then like, come on, tell me at least. Um, <laughs> anyway, let's just head over this way. Hey, what was it like back when everyone was traveling with Alicia? We had to put up with a lot less nonsense talk, for one thing. Huh? I don't get it. Why wasn't Lila speaking? Could someone hand Rose a mirror? <laughs> yeah, Rose, you hypocrite. <laughs> oh man, this party is just filled with shenanigans. I love it. It's great. <laughs> Here we are, back in Lake Haven Heights. Oh my god, this is... This is nostalgic. I've not been here in ages. I mean, none of us have. But, you know, whatever. Wait, that's... Yes, it's a treasure chest. You should know exactly where this is, Mickley. You've been here before. <laughs> oh, man. I like Lake Haven Heights. Oh, man. I've missed this area. That's such a thing to say, but I've missed this area. Anyway, um... Ooh, what do I want to do? I think we're going to go into Lady Lake first. So let's just head on in. Because we've got a few different side quests we can do in here. Okay. Right, so let's see. Oh, we have one right here. What's this guy got to say? A ghost in the ruined village of Kilf? That's the rumor going around among the merchants. Sorry, let me try that again. That's the rumor going around among the merchants. As I recall, though, that village northeast of here was wiped out by a gang of bandits several years ago. Bandits, at least, you can do something about. Ghosts? That's a whole nother story. A ghost? Could it be a seraph? It does make you wonder. Perhaps the one who witnessed it had high resonance. That would make sense. Maybe we should head over there later and have a look. Though obviously we're not going to go right now because we have some other things to be doing. Um, what actually did we have to be doing? Uh, right, we need to go and talk to Alicia. We need to... Um, oh yeah, I know what that one is. Okay, those are the only two in Lady Lake, that's good. Okay. We're actually doing pretty well with the side quests. That's good. I was worried that they were going to start piling up. So I'll just head over to Alicia's Manor and see what happens. Oh, I love Lady Lake. This music is just so beautiful and nostalgic for me. Oh, hello. Do I, do I want to go there first or do I go to the other? I might go to the other one first. There may be some herbs out here. Now I'll go to the one first. You! Give up! We caught you red-handed! Darn! That voice! It's a Hellion! Purify him. Yeah! You need something, oh great shepherd? Is it alright if I deal with this boy? I'm afraid not. The only way to apprehend pickpockets is to catch them in the act. But... but he's... If you do the crime, you do the time. No matter how old you are. This kid just wasn't ready for real-world consequences. <clears throat> hey, mister! Why don't you let Saray have a talk with him before you take him away? Just a word from the shepherd might steer the kid toward the right path in life, better than any time in detention. That would be pointless. Come on, it won't do any harm. What, you got some problem with Saray talking to this boy? I never said that. It would simply be a waste of time. You said this kid wasn't prepared to deal with the real-world consequences of his crimes. Are you prepared, mister? What? I'm part of a merchant crew that travels all over the world. You think I don't know why the pickpocketing problem is so bad? <laughs> I see. How much do you want? Don't put me on your level. We Sparrow Feathers value our customers' trust. Saray, we're taking this guy to jail, too. L like hell you are, you lying brat! You will not lay a finger on her. Shepard! Oh, hey! Stop! Wait! Saray! Go after him. Okay! If it ain't one thing. Saray, I'll go after them as well. Please purify that boy. 
Shepard or not, I won't let you obstruct my duties! <sighs> Guard, leave him alone! Even we can tell something about you stinks! Yeah, what kind of guard are you? You think we don't know what you're up to when our backs are turned? You dirty crook! I think we're good here. Let's go after Rose. Yeah, you're right. We're heading after Rose, right? Yep, we're going, we're going. Don't worry, McLeo, I know what we're doing. Oh, man. Aren't people just joyous? Oh, dear. Phew! You made it. Is it over? Maybe. If it really bugs you that much, why don't you check up on him? Well, how would we do that? Let him lead us home. Oh, so he wanders and we tail him. That could work. All right then. Saray, Rose, you guys hide. I'll go wake him up. Looks like they've made their decision. Are you okay with this, Lila? Well, as long as we only follow him. <sighs> now! Yeah! Got goofy glasses. Hello. What is this? What's so funny? Guys? Guys? What's so funny? Guys? Hey, guys! Um, <laughs> it, they're beautiful. Oh my god. Um, hmm. You know, I've said before that I don't like keeping attachments on for cutscenes, but also it feels appropriate to put these on everyone because um, they would give them to us. And they're like a disguise. We're gonna be the Pink Panther. And just... <laughs> Wait, hold on! His <laughs> hair goes right through the frames! Oh no, I love it! Okay, this is beautiful. We're... Oh my god. Yes. Yes. Don't you think he'll stop pickpocketing now? We purified him after all. Not so sure about that. I've heard word of pickpocket gangs. Oh, really? We need to find out whether he was doing it on his own or with a group. Are they done talking? I think they are. <laughs> oh my goodness. <laughs> I can't stop laughing because of the glasses. <laughs> can't even see them. Oh my god, I love it. Do you have anything to say, Rose? Uh, yeah, here we go. <clears throat> Where's that kid headed? Little kids sure know how to scamper. Hurry, or we're losing. I've not actually read that one before, because I never bothered to read those during this side quest. What did you mean by you knew why the pickpocketing problem is so bad? The Enforcers let him off a lot of the time in exchange for part of the takings. Then, when the guards need to hit their quotas, they round him up anyway. That's probably what that was about. No way. That's just a bit silly, isn't it? Huh. Guess his world is really filled with, um... Corrupt individuals. Why he turns that corner? Isn't he going to see us? Apparently not. <laughs> okay. Look, he's going in. A noble's manor. It's clearly not his house. I'm guessing a pickpocket gang, then. And so this must be their base. 
Something tells me he's not gonna quit stealing. Well, crap. Come on, we're not done yet. Rose, it's unfortunate, but I'm not sure we should... Lila means that this is just a problem of human society. Right. It might not be something a shepherd should get involved in. Huh. Sorry. If he's doing it by himself, I'd be okay letting him deal with the consequences. But if there's a gang forcing him to steal, it's a completely different story. I gotta check to make sure. Yeah, I thought so. I understand. Let's go check it out just in case. You sure? But no more than that. Understood? Saray, Rose, even if you don't intend them to, the powers of the Shepherd and the Squire can greatly influence human society and the spirits of men. Please don't forget that. All right. We'll just watch and see who goes in and out. Bored. Who knew that we wouldn't see anything for days on end? You all can go back to the inn. I'm staying here. It's okay. Shh. Someone's coming out. It's a bunch of little kids. Those kids? You think maybe they're not being forced to pickpocket? <sighs> We've come this far. Let's see this thing through. Dezel? You go follow those brats. I'll go check out the building. Thanks. Oh boy. Don't go for anything big, got it? Only money and jewelry and stuff. Are they gonna have anything like that? That shepherd guy did something, and now there's lots more people donating stuff to the sanctuary. Oh cool, that sounds fun. Priests won't be mean to kids, and if there's any real problems, we can always start crying. <laughs> I'm good at that. Hey, is this really okay? It's okay if you're us and not them. Is this what kids are like these days? Dangerous times. <sighs> Those kids barely have any malevolence at all. Children in their brutal honesty can be even crueler than corrupted adults, as you've seen. <sighs> oh dear. Rose? They're doing it of their own free will? Hey, snap out of it! We've got a job to do here. Come on, looks like they're heading for the sanctuary. Okay. How far ahead did they get? Oh, Dezel. How was it? The building was completely empty. Those scamps are probably just camping out there. So then, those kids are acting on their own. Oh dear. Guess we're gonna have to follow them and stop them. This is not good. Children are scary. Like, they're, they're scary, man. I'm not even kidding. All right, it's snatching time. <sighs> now that we know the score, do we want to report them to the guards and end this whole thing? After all, they're not Hellions. Well, <sighs> by the sounds of what Rose was saying earlier when we were talking to the other guard and afterwards, the guards are pretty corrupt. So, I don't think we should actually report them to the guards. No. We have to say something. You're right. Hey, you all! Stop with your thieving! Darn it! What do you want? Look, I never did nothing! We know all about what you're up to. Fooling the priests into thinking you're helpless orphans and then robbing them blind. You should be ashamed of yourselves! Oh yeah? You got any proof? This here is the shepherd. His word is good enough. Th that's perjury! False witness! Princess Alicia and the people of Lady Lake all trust Saray. Because he's been living an honest life. How about you? Will anyone trust your word? Well, <sighs> Give it up, kid. What else can we do? 
The adults all abandoned us. If we want to survive, stealing's our only choice. Rose, maybe we ought to. Come on, Saray. Let's bring them to the guards. Rose, I just told you not to do that. But to think children their age could conceive of such wretched duplicity. And the other children? They were all caught by the guards and hauled away. I see. Those who commit crimes must be punished, even if they are children. It's the way the world works, but it still pains the heart. Yeah. Hm. Yeah, that was a thing, wasn't it? Come on, Rose, I asked you not to take him to the guards and you did it anyway. Ugh. So... Okay, let's remove the goofy glasses. Um, they were fun while they lasted, but I think even this priest is like, what is going on? Um, Father Bruno, that's his name. Saray, look around you. Oh, an arcane bottle, sweet. The one over there is gold, so can't grab it yet, but at least we got the silver chest. And now, hello there, Irish gem. Hey, isn't this an earth in Historia? Oh, that... That was a donation from someone in the city. It looks rather rare and precious, so we've been unsure whether we should sell it. Nice! Good call, Mr. Priest Man! Huh? Oh, uh, thank you. Father Brunor, we're actually collecting these. You think we could have this? We'd pay for it, of course. No, 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 please, that's not necessary. If it's something the Shepherd needs on his quest, by all means, please take it. I'm sure the donor would be overjoyed to know that their gift had been some help to the Shepherd. Thank you, Father Brunor. Nice, looks like we're allowed to just take this. Yellow Irish gem, try? Tree? Heldal faces a dragon in a mysterious land. He is strong enough to defeat the beast. He beat the dragon in one hit! And a fully materialized one at that. What tremendous power! <sighs> you saw that mass of malevolence at his back. The Hellion possessing him is far beyond anything we've ever fought. Yeah, I'll definitely need to get stronger. <laughs> That's your reaction? I don't know whether to be worried or relieved. Ooh, yeah, he's pretty strong. Which is fun, I guess. I'll be fine. We'll eventually defeat him. Thanks, everyone. I needed that. You're okay with how it worked out? It's better than ignoring it and spending the rest of your life wondering. Yeah. Yeah, I guess that makes sense. Yeah. I guess if it helps in the end, then... Can't do much about it. Anyway, we should have a skit here in the save point in the inn. At the save point in the inn. Grammar is working today, and the skit is to the children, Dezel. Hmm. <laughs> Bunch of hopeless delinquents. Those street kids in Lady Lake. Well, if society's abandoned them, I don't know. Is there any other way for them to survive besides a life of crime? It is a sad era we live in. Give me a break. If you have to do wrong to trudge onward, you do so knowing the burden of that wrong. You hide that dark shadow within yourself, and keep pressing on. Those kids weren't like that. They just went astray. Hey, don't look at me when you say that! Rose, so those are the things you have to think about, huh? I don't think, I just do! Ugh, let's stop talking about this. You mean you're just spontaneous? That's... awesome. 
Yes. No matter the circumstances, it's up to each person to decide how she wants to live her life and for what she must be held accountable. But Rose understands that instinctively, without thinking. Very impressive. Seriously, can we change the subject? Maybe the experience of abandonment will get those kids to realize the importance of responsibility. Thanks to you guys pointing them in the right direction. I hope so. Yeah. If it were that easy, the Age of Chaos would be over already. <sighs> uh, yeah, I guess you're right. But hey, look, we've got another skit here at the save point. The riddle of the Iris Gems. Iris Gems really are beautiful. Too beautiful, more like it. That's why most people think they're just glass, or some other kind of decoration. I see. What are they actually made of? It's not a natural mineral. They were most likely crafted through the use of multiple seraphic arts. Even so, it's practically unbelievable that there's something inside that lets you see the past. I wish you could watch anything from the past that you wanted. I'd watch a thousand years of history. Better hope you'd live a thousand years then, because that's how long it'd take. Oh, right. <laughs> that would be hard even for a seraph. Both iris gems and ruins are just fragments of the past. What's important is what you get out of them. Because history is the architect of our hearts. Whoa, Miklio! That was a sweet quote. You think so? I'm planning to put it in the book I write one day. Well, aren't you full of surprises? I mean, don't you think it'd be a waste not to pass on our tale to future generations? I would love to read your book, Miklio. I'll give you a copy. Signed, even. Darn. I gotta come up with my own quote and signature. Oh, <laughs> I love that skit. It's so cute because it's just like, Miklio wants to write a book. Which is like, you're a man after my own heart, Miklio. Um, but also like, then Sarai just being so competitive about it. He's just like, darn, I need to come up with my own quote and signature as well so that I can defeat Miklio in the competition. <laughs> But also, Mickley got a really cute um, title there. Peas in a pod. Always there for you. Sign of a relationship where neither party even has to think about what they mean to each other. That is so cute. Oh my god. <laughs> Sorry, I'm dying a bit. Um, it's cool. It's normal. Um, you know what? I'm actually good. No, yeah, I'm going to change him to that. Because um, I haven't changed these about in a little while. So let's put Sari on Shepherd. And let's put Rose on. Yeah, let's go for Peddler for her. And for Lila, we can go for Tortured Soul, which is lovely. <laughs> and then for Edna, we'll go for Norman Mayer, which is obviously the best title. And Dezel can get a uh, demonic seraph. Sweet. Okay, I'm gonna very quickly sleep at the inn. I almost said save at the inn. I'm gonna sleep at the inn. So which one of you influenced the other into ruin exploring mania? Man, I don't even remember. You were the one who started it, obviously. Always dragging me around like that. But you were the one who first took interest in the treasure hunting aspect of it all. That's only because I wanted there to be some sort of overarching goal to what we were doing. Well, I've learned one thing from all this. What is it? That I don't care about this stuff at all. That's all you got out of this? I love all three of them. Oh my god. Sorry, and Mikla just be like... In a state where, like, Sari and Mikla have been with each other for so long and doing... Rune exploring for so long that they just can't even remember who influenced each other into in the first place and then Rose just being like, I don't even give a crap. <laughs> I love her. She's great. Also, Sari finally got treasure detection, which is lovely. Um, hmm. I think I'll switch Sari to treasure detection for a while and Mick Leo can go on to... You know what? Go on to windstepping. Why not? Why the heck not make loot? Actually, no, hold on. Snack prep, snack prep, he needs to be on snack prep. I feel like we've not got enough people on snack prep, so... Yeah. That should do, okay. <clears throat> Excuse me. Anyway, actually, I should probably have checked to see if we had anything else at the end. Let's very quickly do that. Uh, yeah. 
The Lord of the Land, huh? Can you become one by making the Sacred Blade your vessel? It's possible, but the Sacred Blade is already a part of you now. And... And? I don't deserve to be enshrined by the people in this city. Rather than choosing to become the Lord of the Land, I chose to go on my own personal journey and ignore the malevolence that overtakes this city. Huh. Lila? How long were you dwelling in the Sacred Blade? It's been... more than ten years now. You'd waited a long time for the Shepherd to appear. For the sake of people all over the world. I suppose so. But our journey's just started. Yes, this is only the beginning. Pretty sure that skit was meant to come a lot earlier in the game, but I'm pretty sure just about everyone who's played this for a Let's Play gets that skit at like this point when they're doing the trial shrines, and it's just like, well, that's a bit late, isn't it? But still, it's a nice skit to get. It definitely uh, shows a lot more of the relationship between Saray and Lila, which I think is a nice relationship. They definitely get on well, which is really nice. Uh, let's sleep again. Nope, nothing. Okay. Right, okay, so now that we've got all of the skits here at the inn, I am going to head out to the Heights. And I think what we're going to do is we're going to start heading in the direction of Alicia, but we're not actually going to go to Alicia. I think we've got just about enough time to fight the mutant Hellion Managarmer, who is up on the hill over that way. Um, except I'm not going to go that way to get to him, I'm going to go this way because we actually have the power to break the rock that was in our way before. And then once we've done that we can save for the day and probably end up because um, we're pretty close to the end of the episode already. And then next time we'll head over to Alicia and see what they've got to say there. Oh man, I'm looking forward to going back to Alicia. It's been so long and I love Alicia. Such a beautiful place. Oh my goodness, I think there's a herb here. I can smell herbs nearby. Ooh. Hello. Oh god, this was an awful idea. Let us not be full of ourselves and continue. That fight was like stuck between two rocks, but we actually managed it. Oh my goodness. Um, for some reason I didn't realise that you can't run through these rocks. Okay. I also didn't realise I was playing as Mikleo. Not that I'm complaining, because I like playing as Mikleo. Anyway. Let's head over here. Hello there. I think you're way to Earth. So I'm gonna hit you with my Earth thing. Okay, Managarmer. So... Just so we're clear, what happens if we battle it under a full moon? Oh, I have a related question. Do you constantly bring up irrelevant nonsense on purpose, or is it just your naivete? Um, I, I think it's not that. Okay. Strong. Better luck tomorrow. They're way stronger than the ones we saw when we left the village. This is a man of armor. It is said that they're strongest when the full moon is out. Then now's our chance. We can take them on. Uh, I suspect what would happen if we took out during a full moon would be that we would die. Oh, this is really not the terrain to be using the water or is it? Oh my. Oh! Oh my goodness. Oh. This thing is weak. I guess it is the first new Hellion that you find on the fields, but... I should probably heal myself. Oh no. I love Elixir for It's like the best healing spell in this game. No, no, don't you dare call back up. What a formidable opponent! There we go, that was easy. Oh, we earned a new art as well. I think that might be Arrow Squall, although it might not be. Oh no, he got Phantasm Flash. Ooh. And he got...
He did get our skull. Sweet. I love that art. Oh my goodness. What a good one. Anyway, we might be able to start heading through the Arundite Forest. And then we'll probably just save at the entrance to Alicia. My plans just keep changing. <laughs> Sorry. I know that some people don't like that kind of thing, but hey, whatever. We're gonna get attacked by a bloody... Please don't. I know you take two seconds to defeat, but please don't. <laughs> I think it's gone. Nope, nope, it's still there. Well, it will be gone in a second because... Yeah, it's gone. Okay. Oh man. Doesn't this just bring you back? Here we are. Going back into the Arondite Forest. Oh my goodness. So nostalgic. Whoa! We're in Gramps' domain! Gramps' domain is pretty strong. Indeed. Does Russ have anything to say? I'm just out of curiosity. I don't know if she has. Nope, okay. Right, so let's just head on through. Oh man, it's been so long. So long. Um. Right, let's head down this way because we weren't able to bypass these rocks before. Um. That's a gold chest. Can I get the gold chest? Sad. Hello there, little Norman dude. Penetrate. Penetrate is a good Norman. Um, right, can't put it on the Felspar sword. Uh, uh, you know, I just realised I could definitely give it to Rose, couldn't I? I haven't even thought of that. How have I not thought of that? Um... Yeah, sure, take it. There we go. Rose has it now, that's fine. She now has, I'm pretty sure that is a level 10 skill. I'm going to double check that. Yep, that is a level 10 skill. Would you look at that? That is not our first level 10 skill, but it's the first one that Rose has, I think. Anyway, hold on. I thought I saw a herb for a second, but it must have been a trick of the light. What's this? It's two arcane bottles, sorry. <laughs> anyway, it's also a discovery point here. Edible, to edible mushrooms and toxic mu Edible mushrooms and toxic mushrooms. <laughs> sorry. <laughs> they come with the skit, A Forest of Mushrooms. Mushrooms! Are they safe to eat? The ones closest to you are okay, but stay away from the ones in the back. You got it. Wow, how do you know all that? It's just common knowledge. This forest, it's so rich and abundant with life. Yeah, that's the power of Gramps' blessed domain. Oh, so it's Gramps' domain that makes it feel this way? It's a sizable amount of power. Even among high-ranking Seraphim, there are very few on his level. That's Gramps for you. Anyone comes by who's up to no good, they get zapped in the butt with lightning. Pow! He can wield lightning? Yep, he lights up the sky like fireworks. I sure remember fireworks when it came to him and you. Well, figuratively. Oh, and that explains all the mushrooms. Huh? Oh, right! Where Monday's lightning strikes the ground, Tuesday's mushrooms will be found. Aha! So we have Saray to thank for this harvest. H hey! No, it wasn't like that! <laughs> oh, that's so cute. Oh, man. I miss Gramps. Luckily, we're gonna get to see him pretty soon. Unless he's like not in Alicia for some reason, but I'm pretty sure he'll be in Alicia. Are there any herbs around here? Oh, are there? I wonder. Oh, I'm gonna be saying that with him now. Ugh. Why did I put treasure detection back on? I think it's. Uh, it's useless, but also. Yeah. It's fine, it's forgivable. Hello. Red herb? Red herb. That smell. Is it herbs? Yes, it's herbs. No, I think. Ah, uh, yeah, I know what's down here. It's a treasure chest, but also... My instincts tell me that there's treasures nearby. Oh, the elixir, sweet. Um, there's also this discovery point, the Aroundite Stag Beetle, which comes with the skit. What a find! Huh? Unbelievable. What's wrong? 
Shh, it's nothing. Keep still. Whoa, check out that beetle! Be quiet! Don't you know what that is? What... what is it? An Aroundite stag beetle. Is that... good? It's incredibly rare. Atlas beetles die within a year, but stag beetles can survive the winter months with a typical lifespan of three years. This one in particular has remarkable tolerance to cold. It can be packed in snow on all sides and still not freeze to death. Some have been known to last for over a decade. They were thought to have gone extinct a hundred years ago or so. I've only heard them whispered in legend before today. Whoa, neat! The Phantom Beetle! Understand? So be quiet. Right. Don't want it to get away. It already did, while Dezo was blabbing on and on about it. It what? Not that I can blame it. <laughs> that poor beetle. Dezo was so excited about it. And it just went, nope. Get out here. <laughs> Still, it's so cute to see Dezel so interested in this kind of thing. In my opinion, anyway. Um, I constantly get lost in this forest. I suppose that's the point, though. Apparently, I think it was in... What, a guidance book or something? Um, that this forest is also known as the Forest of No Return to humans who haven't been here before. Because... People just tend to come here and then get lost, probably because of Gram's domain. Um, Gram's Is that maybe, an herb? Thank you. Maybe there's a way of like putting a mirage over it, and people just get lost and never find their way out. Which is lovely, I'm sure. Is that a treasure chest? Was uh, there an item up there? I don't think I've been up there. Um, I mean, I've been up here before, sure, but... Uh Oh there, there is an item. I sense treasure nearby. Do you? Oh I got a drop ball. Drop balls are fun because they give you more gold. Wait, I've been that way. Um <laughs> Oh dear god. Seriously, this forest is a mess. <laughs> I love it, but finding your way around is fun. Um there we go, there's the other What's item. This? I knew there was at least one more. Okay, let's just head out of here. Let's go the right way to head out of here. Um, okay. But we made it back. Alicia! Oh, I love Alicia! Um, but because we've made it back here, I think it's about time to end off the episode because we've run to the end of it. So... I'd like to thank you all very much for watching. I'm sorry, again, not much happened in this episode. It was basically just another side quest episode, but I, I hope you enjoyed it anyway. Please let me know down below in the comments what your thoughts, opinions, and theories on everything that happened are. Um, you know, if you want to, you know, don't feel pressured to or anything. <laughs> but in any case, thank you again for watching. I hope you have a great day, night, or whatever the time it is for you. And I will see you next time. Sure, laugh at my expense. <laughs> Mikleo's facial expressions are my pride and joy. And with that, I love I him. Must be off.